Hello design lovers, I'm Ashley Childers and today I'm sharing my Christmas decor must-haves from our holiday 2023 collection and I'm showing you how to decorate your Christmas tree this season like a designer. I want to share with you step by step how I created this beautiful Christmas tree this season and I want to share with you a few of my very favorite pieces from the collection. Now I know you're going to love today's video. It is the perfect way to kick off the holiday season so be sure to hit the subscribe button as we drop a new design video every week. Before we get into decorating our tree with all of the ornaments, I wanna talk a little bit about the base decoration. And this year for me, it was beautiful holiday ribbon. I really wanted to set the scene on the tree for a modern take on old world Christmas. And in doing that, I kind of, honed in on these beautiful ribbons. So I wove each one of the ribbons throughout the entire tree from the base all the way up. And I started with this gorgeous four inch toasted caramel velvet ribbon first. So it's the largest of the ribbons. And I wove that throughout the entire tree as the first ribbon. Then I added in this beautiful deep ruby velvet ribbon. This is a two and a half inch ribbon and wove that up the tree as well. And then lastly, I finished off with this gorgeous two and a half inch metallic ribbon. And I, I didn't know if I wanted to add the metallic ribbon at the beginning. I thought I would just do the two velvet ribbons. But what I found was when I started playing around with some of the ornaments that I'm decorating the tree with this year, I felt like the tree needed a little bit of a lift and I wanted to complement the beautiful metallic tones that are on the ornaments this year. So by adding this metallic ribbon in, it did that for me. And honestly, I really love the result. I think it's so beautiful and nostalgic and has that kind of old world Christmas feeling with just the ribbons. You could honestly decorate your tree with ribbons just like this add like a few small ornaments or a star at the top and that's really all you need of course we're going a lot deeper than that and we're going to add all of the holiday ornaments from this year's Ashley Childers holiday collection to the tree but I wanted to show you this tree with just the ribbon and show you how beautiful it is now pro tip when you're adding the ribbon onto your tree Take your time to really weave the ribbon in and out of all of the branches. I think it just makes it look so much more incorporated into the tree. And I like having the pockets of branches kind of peeking out, the ribbon tucking back, and it moving in this really beautiful, natural kind of pattern all, of, all the way up the tree. So if you want to add ribbon to your tree this year, take your time in doing it. This tree is 12 feet tall and I used two rolls of ribbon for each one of the ribbons spiraling up the tree and I believe each roll is 10 yards. Now, all of these ribbons are also available on ashleychilders.com under our holiday collection this year. I wanted to make sure and sell everything that we are showing this year on our site because last year we got so many questions on where to buy ornaments or ribbons. So we've done all of the work for you and everything that you see today is available on our website. Let's talk a little bit about our ornament selection for this year and my tip on how to put your ornaments on your tree. So first of all, this year, I really wanted to play up texture and muted colors. I love when my Christmas decor in my home is feels very cohesive. Um, with what we have going on in our interior decor in our home. So I've got all these beautiful muted metallics and tonal color palette for this season. My pro tip when decorating your Christmas tree is to take out all of the ornaments that you want to use, lay them out on the floor, 
and graduate them in size because when you're decorating a tree, especially a really large one like a 12 foot tree, you want to start with your largest ornaments first. So that would be these beautiful golden antiqued balls that we have. And this is the largest ornament. I have a few other ornaments that are almost the same size, but this is the first one that I'm going to start with. And when you are using an ornament this large for your tree, you're definitely going to want to tuck it into the branches so it doesn't seem like it's just kind of floating outside of the tree. So let me show you what I mean by that. Put the ornament on, first of all, pick a branch that's really sturdy. A lot of times when you're using large, heavy ornaments like this, you really need a faux tree. Real trees sometimes just won't hold the weight. So I like to kind of tuck it back into the branches a little bit so it feels like it's integrated into the tree. Now I'm going to go through and add all of the ornaments that are that size first, filling in in various spots and making sure that I like the composition of each one of the ornaments. I don't really know exactly how many I will use per ornament, but a good rule of thumb is you need at least six. Usually more, maybe six to 10, especially if you have a large tree like this, of each ornament. Definitely don't wanna go out and snag like three of a singular ornament because that's just not gonna be impactful enough. So I will go through, add all the large ornaments to the tree and then let you see what it looks like before we go in to the smaller ornaments. So now that I have tucked in the two largest ornaments, I just wanted to show you the tree before I move on to all the other ornaments. So as you can see, I strategically spaced out these two large ornaments and they take up a lot of real estate on the tree. And I like having large ornaments like this to ground the tree design, especially when the tree is so large. These are really, really beautiful kind of old world Christmas ornaments. We've got these beautiful antiqued gold large balls and then these sweet little gold acorns. The color is very similar, but because they're two different shapes, it gives the tree some interest when it comes to the large ornaments. Okay, now I'm going to keep adding the ornaments to the tree from the largest to the smallest, and you will get to see this tree come to life. So now that we have added the ribbon to our tree, added all of the ornaments on I wanted you to see the finished product. And it is so beautiful. Like I said before, it is a modern take on old world Christmas. And that was what I was going for this year. So let's talk a little bit about all of the ornament assortment that I have chosen for our holiday collection this year and for our family room tree. So as I told you earlier, I started out with these beautiful antique gold, glass balls and these little acorns. And I love the size of them. They're really large. I think they're about nine inches in diameter, maybe 10. And they just ground the tree. This tree is large and we needed that impactful kind of large statement. So I tucked those in as I showed you earlier. The next thing that I added on were these mercury glass pine cones. And I just love the stylized shape of them. I think they're so beautiful. And the colors that are in the mercury glass works with the metallic ribbon so perfectly. So that was this the next layer. Then I added in the little um, onion shaped ornaments in the gold, some other mercury glass balls with this beautiful relief and kind of textural patina on them. Then I went in with these really beautiful velvet glass balls. So this, there's a dark chocolate and a toasted caramel. And the toasted caramel works perfectly with that four inch velvet ribbon that we wove throughout the tree. Now, lastly, I wanted to add a pop of deep ruby red. That was a new color that I wanted to introduce this year. I did it with the velvet ribbon, but then I also added these beautiful teardrop glass ornaments, and then also these really fun glass ornaments that have that deep ruby red background, but they have some kind of patina in various colors, so they look 
very, very artistic on the tree. The finishing touch for the tree is the beautiful gold mistletoe, and we have two different sizes in the mistletoe, and I love just the unexpected element that the metal mistletoe adds to the tree, and then also these really pretty antique glass wreaths. And as you can see, adding in different shapes when it comes to the ornaments just adds a lot of interest and makes the tree look very thoughtful and curated. Oh, I forgot to mention, I did also add in a couple of ornaments that have a little bit of a green, kind of a muted green patina. There's some really pretty ones up here that have this almost rust patina to them. And I just like adding in that green element to tie all of the holiday greenery that I have in our home into the tree as well. Now, as always, I like to make sure that all of the presents are coordinated with my holiday theme this year. So I went with a really beautiful matte cream and matte brown papers and then added in some fun velvet and satin ribbons and kind of the various tones that we have in the tree. I think it just makes such a beautiful, classic, sophisticated statement. Now, before we move on, I wanna talk a little bit about our mantle this year. Because the Christmas tree this year is so opulent, I really wanted it to be the focal point of our great room. This room is what you walk into as you enter our home in our front entrance. So you see this entire room as a whole. So this being the beautiful focal point for the holiday season is exactly what I wanted. Now, because of that, I decided to go a little bit more understated on our mantle this year and just do beautiful swags of cedar garland. This is from our holiday collection. It's our deluxe cedar Cedar garland and I actually used six pieces <laughs> sorry I had to count it six pieces for this mantle our mantle is pretty large and I always like to double up my garland because I feel like it just makes it look more full and real um, this is really very very realistic faux garland honestly and I just love the textural quality that it adds to our fireplace mantle now, I draped it, I didn't do anything crazy. I kind of did these small little swags. I attached it to our mantle with 3M hooks. I used the large 3M hooks and we'll link them so you know which ones to use, but the large 3M hooks with the Velcro. Our mantle is wood, so it works perfectly. And then I just attach the garland through the hook. And I, I've added, I think there's four hooks on top of this mantle. Then I always like to add little fairy lights to our mantle. I just don't love a mantle with garland that's not lit when it's next to a lit Christmas tree. So I added in these little fairy lights. They're on copper wire. You can get them on Amazon. We'll link them. This was a one spool of 200 feet. And I had enough to be like very generous as I wove the little fairy lights all throughout the garland. This year I added in some really pretty stockings that I actually made because I had this leftover boucle fabric from some of our chairs that I had upholstered this year and it's so beautiful, it was the perfect color. So I just, I made us some, some new stockings this year and then added in these fun little sleigh bells. These are also on our site and of our entire holiday collection, which I love every single piece that's in it, these sleigh bells are probably my very, very favorite. We have several different styles of them. We have long ones and short ones, but they are all made in a really incredible generational Amish factory. Well, it's not a factory, I guess it's a workshop uh, um, in Pennsylvania. And they are all tanned leather and solid brass bells. So they're truly heirloom quality Christmas decor. And I just love the nostalgic feeling that they add to our mantle and to our stockings. I added in a little piece of cedar and then of course this sweet little velvet ribbon. So everything ties in to the Christmas tree and to all of our packages under the tree.
Before we move on to the other side of our great room and I show you how I decorated for the holidays over there and some of my favorite pieces, I wanted to stop at this cocktail table because I feel like cocktail tables are such an important place to decorate for the holidays, but you don't want it to feel too overdone. So this is a really perfect example of a sophisticated way to decorate your cocktail table for the holidays. So this is a rolling cocktail table and I love it because it has has a glass top and shelf. So on the bottom shelf, I added our bangle bowl, which I usually keep on this table throughout the year. I just put some really beautiful brown Christmas balls in that bowl to add a little bit of holiday color and to tie into the theme of the rest of the room. On top of the tabletop, I've got this cypress spray. So this is in our holiday collection as well. And these are so great. I was really pleased when we got them in because they're very, very full. I only have three sprays in this, in this vase and they look fantastic and very, very lifelike. Uh, over on our tray, I've got two deep forest green taper candles that ties in to the Christmas tree and the garlands. And then on top of the tray, I've got this sweet little bell that I just added in. And really, that's all I needed to make a beautiful, elegant, sophisticated holiday statement on this table. So let's move to the other side of the room and let me show you some of my favorite holiday decor pieces over there. Now we've moved over to the other side of our great room and I wanted to share with you this really simple and elegant vignette that I have on our buffet. So I knew that I wanted to keep the holiday decor theme going on this side of the room, but I really wanted it to be a little bit more pared back. So I added in this set of three Christmas trees, and these are our pewter embossed holiday tree, and they come in a set of three. They're on the site. They're part of our holiday collection. And then I just draped in one of those cedar garlands. So this is the deluxe cedar garland. There's only one of them on this table. It just makes a really beautiful, elegant statement and ties this buffet into our tree and our mantle. So you don't have to go crazy when it comes to holiday decor. You can do it in an understated and an elegant way and still be beautiful and impactful. Continuing on to the seating grouping area of this side of our great room. And I wanted to share with you this cocktail table vignette. So this vignette is a really great example of how adding just a little bit of holiday decor, decor to a really beautifully styled table vignette is all you need for the holiday season. So. I have this table styled like I normally would. I've got a pair of candlesticks, one of our alabaster bowls, this beautiful double take vase from my collection. I added in these magnolia branches and pro tip on magnolia branches. First of all, they're so beautiful to bring in to your home if you want to add some organic texture to your interior spaces. But I love magnolia branches, especially in the holiday season because I tend to gravitate towards warm colors in my holiday decor. So really beautiful burnt browns and deep greens and the magnolia branches and leaves are perfect for that. The beauty of a magnolia branch is that you've got this gorgeous glossy green leaf and then on the back side this velvety brown. So magnolia branches work perfectly with my holiday decor and they last for weeks and weeks. You can clip them, put them in water. I change my water out usually once a week and they last a couple of weeks in my home. So if you want to incorporate some really beautiful branches this season, I highly recommend magnolia branches. Now, let's talk about the only holiday decor that I have on the tablescape. And this is this beautiful solid brass sleigh bell. So this is from our holiday collection. I told you about these sleigh bells before. They're my favorite thing probably in our entire holiday collection. They're handmade in Pennsylvania and I'm absolutely obsessed with them. This one in particular has these beautiful embossed 
solid brass bells, and then a double leather strap that has this really beautiful leather wrap detail in this dark brown kind of chocolatey leather. I accented it with just a little sprig of evergreen and a beautiful chocolate brown satin ribbon, placed it on the tabletop, and that is the only thing that I needed to add to this tablescape to, add, to make it feel like it's a part of the holiday decor and create a really beautiful, sophisticated, elegant statement. Okay, friends, we are in the entry of our home and I just wanted to show you a little peek at what I've done for our entry. This is really minimally styled for the holidays, but it's a fun little addition that you can add if you have branches in your kitchen or in your entry on a sideboard. I just took these little vintage mercury glass ornaments and then just hung them on the magnolia branches with this sweet little chocolate velvet ribbon. That ribbon ties in to so many of the other chocolate velvet ribbons that I have throughout all of our holiday decor. So I wanted to set the stage for the rest of the holiday decor in our entry, and this is a perfect way to do it. Now a little teaser, in a few weeks, I'm going to do a holiday decor video that is completely dedicated to vintage decor items like these sweet little ornaments, but I just had to show you the statement that I made in our entry that ties into the rest of our holiday decor. Now let's go a little further into this room. Let me show you a few more of the gorgeous details. We've moved a little farther into the entry and I wanted to stop at this vignette and talk a little bit about it. So this bar cart and mirror are always in our entry. Actually, I just recently added this mirror. This is the Charlotte mirror from my collection. It's on our site and I love the scale of it. And it's a little hard to see right now, but it's got this beautiful scalloped detail all the way around the edge. So it's really beautiful organic shape. Now, for the holidays, I added in this cedar swag garland. So this is an eight foot garland and it's meant to be placed on a tabletop or hung over a mirror or piece of art. You could add it to the top of an armoire or an etagere. It sprays out from the center and then it tapers down both sides. So it's got this beautiful cascading shape and the cedar on this garland ties in to the cedar that I used on our mantle and on our banister that I will show you in just a minute. Now I added in this fun little floppy ribbon. This is our brown velvet ribbon. This is the two and a half inch ribbon. And this is the same ribbon that I used on the Christmas tree, but I used a four inch on the Christmas tree. So I like repeating that element. And you'll see I also repeated this ribbon on our banister. Just wanted to stop here and show you that just a little holiday addition can make a really beautiful and sophisticated and tailored statement in your entry. The last stop in our entry is our staircase. So I love decorating our handrail and banister every holiday. It is just so beautiful and such a gracious way to welcome guests as they come into our home. So this year, I used our deluxe cedar garland on the banister and I usually swag it like this, but this year I actually kind of draped it and wrapped it around the handrail all the way down and then cascaded it onto the floor. And then we have, this is, a, this is a two flights of stairs. So I have the garland going up the second flight of stairs as well because it's visible as you walk into our front door. I added in the two inch velvet ribbon and this is the same ribbon that I used over on the Charlotte mirror. So you've got that continuity of color and of texture. And then the last thing that I added was this incredible sleigh bell. So this is the largest of the sleigh bells in our holiday collection. It's a big belt. It's got this beautiful brass belt buckle this gorgeous kind of deep sable leather, and then graduated solid brass bells all the way around the entire belt. I just 
put it over the banister and it looks so beautiful and effortless. Such a nostalgic touch to our entry holiday decor and something that I feel like will be a Christmas family heirloom for years to come. Okay, friends, I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I have been waiting to drop this holiday video for months and I loved sharing my holiday decor must-haves with you. Now, you can check out the entire Ashley Childers holiday collection on our website, ashleychilders.com. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed today's video and give it a thumbs up if you did. Also, let me know what decor pieces are your favorite and if you have any questions on how to create a really beautiful designer holiday tree for your home this season. If you want more design goodness, follow us over on Instagram at Ashley Childers Home and check us out on Pinterest to get design inspiration and become a part of our design loving community. If you want even more designer styling tips right now, check out this playlist next. As always, I'm Ashley Childers. Thank you for watching and for getting in the holiday spirit with me. It is my favorite time of year and I cannot wait to share more holiday entertaining and decorating content with you throughout the entire season. Thank you so much for watching and remember, good design is for everyone. So create a home that inspires you, have fun decorating for the holiday season ahead and fall in love with where you live one room at a time.